Hello fellow 3D enthusiast, my name is Ian, and today I wanted to show you how you can get some camera shake. And this is a fairly simple process, so this probably won't take very long. So what we're gonna do to make our camera shake is use the noise modifier on keyframes. And if that sounds a little bit crazy right now, that's fine. So basically our desired effect, as this kind of arrow thing shoots at the target, and our camera follows it, we want the camera just to shake up and down a little bit on the x-axis to signify that it's going really fast, which will add quite a bit of believability to your scene when your cameras have realistic jiggles like that. So let's get started here. I'm just going to extend my timeline a little bit here and split the window down here. I'm going to go into my graph editor and just some background. This, um, this camera is parented to this arrow and the arrow has keyframes on frame 5 and 15 and it just starts and ends on those. So now with my camera selected, because that's what I want to have the noise, I'm going to hit I and go rotation. And I would like this to jiggle up and down, so I'm going to use the X axis. If we hit this little drop down here, you can find the X axis here. And if we hit N with our mouse over here, that'll bring up this side panel. And if we go to modifiers there, we can just hit add modifier and go noise. Now if we scroll out, we can maybe see what's going on up here. Ah, uh, yes. If we play the animation, you can see it's just going absolutely bonkers up and down, which is a little bit too much at this point. So what I'm going to do to make sure that this isn't too crazy is just go to Restrict Frame Range here, and you'll see that immediately we just have this straight line here again, no crazy noise like we had before. So I'm just going to set my start and end frames to be 5 and 15. Like so. Nice. Now we have this little burst of noise here, and that's pretty cool. So at the moment, it's still a bit crazy, so I'm going to turn down the strength of it just a little bit. And also, if you want to mess with the scale, that will kind of make it a little bit smoother there. But I'm okay with all this crazy noise. Maybe not that much. <laughs> okay, say so that's what we want for now. Another great thing on this noise modifier with the restrict frame range is you can adjust the in and out. So if we take a look here, if I turn up in, it will kind of fade it in a little bit. And if I turn up out, it will fade it out a little bit. So we can do kind of a little bit of that just as it accelerates at the start anyways. It won't be too crazy and it gets pretty crazy and then it just stops. Nice. So that's really pretty much it. I know I have a fairly simple test scene here, but it's a pretty powerful concept that if you apply in other situations can get you some really amazing results. So if you found this useful and you'd like to see more tutorials like it, there's a link in the description that says free hydraulic kit bash elements. And when you click this, it will sign you up for my email list. I'll make sure the first thing I send you are some hydraulic kit bash elements made for Blender. And then every week when I post a tutorial, I just mail out to that list and let everybody know so that they can keep up to date. But hey, that's pretty much it. I hope you have an excellent day and cheers.